commanding four-point lead. Yeah, I have him ahead six rounds to one. In seven rounds, George Foreman has thrown 199 jabs and landed 132 of them. That's a connect percentage of 66%. And these are powerful jabs, Jim. They're not just flicks or fly swatter jabs. They're good, solid punches. George's jab is as good as some guy's right hand. Yeah, when you talk about Foreman's dependence on the jab, it's a little bit like Tommy Morrison's dependence on the left hook. As Larry said, who was the opera singer who could only sing? Galakirchi. <laughs> From what you see here, Right now, if they go through with their contract, Foreman and Morrison, what happens, Gil? Well, I, th I think that George would be in with a younger, quicker, stronger guy that could really hurt him in the fight. But Morrison showed in the Williams fight that he can get hurt, but uh, I think the speed of Morrison's punches would be a little too fast for George. So you would make Tommy the favorite over George Foreman? Uh, yes, I would. Which is probably why George will try to avoid that fight if he can. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, it's not going to turn out to be in the best business interests of either guy. Either one is potentially a championship contender without making that fight. Down goes Kutzer, second time in the bout. Beautiful one-two by George Foreman. Through two combinations in a row. Second one, a beautiful one-two. And George is puffing over there in that corner. Well, how much more of this does Pierre want? The referee said, do you want to stop it? Kutzer shook his head, no. And now Joe Cortez disagrees. So Foreman gets the stoppage, just as Morrison did in round number.